Hey guys, so today I'm going to be giving you a van tour. So a few months ago, honestly, I think it was actually almost a year ago, I showed you guys what our van looked like before we renovated it at all. It was pretty old. This is a 1984 Ford E250. Um, it is a also Falcon 170 conversion. Uh, so it was previous, previously converted before we purchased it, but it was so old and none of those things really worked. Um, so if you want to go see that, if you haven't seen it already, you can click up here. And that's where you're going to see what it looked like before. But if you've already seen that video, then this is what our van looks like now after we have completely renovated it. Usually it's something that moves. She calls me day and night I'm sorry girl, you just don't make me feel right I never meant to make you cry, you were right Just leave me be, I'm not gonna... Someone decided to weed eat as soon as I started filming Okay, give me a sec Doesn't look like they're gonna stop weed eating, so I'm just gonna keep going So as soon as you walk into the van We just walked in through this door, which is the side door up here to the right is the upper cab area or this is the upper cab but this is the cab it's kind of dirty in there um, we haven't driven it in a little bit i'll show you the front seat that's what that looks like but everything else is pretty dirty so i'm gonna kind of not show that and if you're wondering we are staying in ricky's parents driveway right now in orlando this is our dinette what used to be here before is the full couch that would come out to a twin sized bed but it just wasn't functional and I really wanted a table over a couch so I built this dinette I made the cushions built the chairs and the table and everything and Maverick loves to sit under there <laughs> underneath this chair we do have what is planning on being our toilet but it hasn't been finished yet and then under this one, I have all of my art supplies and just like all my personal belongings. We also keep some things on either side, like Ricky's guitar, our TV tables, and our broom. So behind this chair, we do have a couple different things. We've got my art table and Maverick's dog food as well. Usually our shoes are right here in front, so we can wipe them off with that towel. But... Um, I put them behind this curtain since we're not using the front area right now. I figured we could just store them there to have some extra floor space. These are also the floors that we put in. We're not completely done with it yet. Still hasn't gotten um, like we need to put an edging around here and finish it right behind where Maverick is, but it'll do for now. To the left of the door that we just came through is our kitchen area. It just has a sink. It used to have like a brown vinyl countertop. Just covered that with contact paper. And then I painted, oh, I forgot to mention, these I painted green and this I painted green as well, though, all the cabinets. So we just have like our kitchen utensils in all these drawers. I won't bore you and open that up, but just typical kitchen stuff. And then we don't have a trash can, but we do have a hook right here. So I've hooked a bag here and this is what we're using as our trash can. And then I think that these used to be used for the old curtains that used to be in here. So I just added, like you can just hang stuff on it. So I just hung a kitchen towel on that. Moving towards the back of the van, underneath there is what we called our garage. And it has all of our electric stuff in it. It has a lot of our food storage and some storage of things that we haven't built in the van yet that we plan on doing but it's kind of messy so i'm not going to show you back there it also has all of our tools our power tools everything we need to make things in the van uh, if we need to like fix something we also have down here maverick's food and water bowls which he's about to get refilled as soon as i fill this video do you want some breakfast and then right above that, we've got our bed. So we originally, in our 
house before we moved into the van had a king size bed so we just took the memory foam cover that was on that and then bought another memory foam cover so that's our mattress a queen size memory foam cover and a king size the king one it kind of folds over the edges a little bit so we just put the queen on top that way they they pretty much match up evenly um and it's it's very cozy we're like really happy with the way it turned out and back where this section is that's the original wallpaper i put this in but that is originally what was here i plan on putting a cork board just so we can put like a to-do list but we haven't gotten to that yet and over here is where we can see our solar and also what percentage our battery's at and we charge our phones back there as well so to the right of the bed, we've got this upper cabinet, which is Ricky's closet. I'm not going to invade his privacy and open it for the internet to see, but it just has all of his clothes, socks, underwear, all the things that he needs is right in there. And then on the other side is mine. And the reason I'm not going to open mine is because I'm actually going to be doing a video that's going to come out next week, which is going to be showing you all of my clothes that I wear in the van. So this is where all my clothes stay, and stay tuned next week if you want to see inside of there. I also put these fairy lights all the way across. So they go underneath our cabinets, up here, and then they come around this way. They are hooked up by this little, right here, you can kind of see it, right there our little solar and it just is a little solar panel that turns on the lights whenever it gets dark outside so we have little fairy lights which is really cool and then i hung each of our backpacks up we do have backpacks whenever we are gonna be showering at planet fitness or anything like that if you're wondering where maverick stuff is it's actually behind the passenger seat door. So I put everything of his in this little pocket, all of his toys that he's not using right now. And I put my cup that I don't use that I actually need to get rid of, uh, his leash and medicine and things like that. So the last thing I didn't show you guys is this monstrosity. So this is our upper cab is what we're calling it. It is, it's a mess. Also, if you guys want to buy this picture, I made it. Um, it's on my Etsy shop that I'll link below. But everything up here, like we've got my art supplies, our towels store up here. This basket, this blue one has our uh, food storage, all of our um, like wires and things. So a lot of different things lie up here, but we haven't actually gone through it. And we lived in this van for a month and a half now. So this is our next goal is to get this all sorted, but I figured it's taking so long I might as well get the van tour out before we do that. I'm sweating so bad because I had to turn the AC off. You probably noticed that we don't have that good of a view out this window. It's because we're in Ricky's parents' driveway, but we have a window covering that goes over this window. We have ones for the back two windows, and even for this door here, they just slide through and they can come off if they if we want to take them off we also have um like up in the front we do have one of those that covers the windshield and that's honestly probably the most important tip i would give is to have these window coverings we've got blinds up top here and on this side that we close at night um, but i leave them open during the daytime because like i there's not much light in here but I would highly recommend if you're going to live in a van to get these window coverings. So in conclusion, that is pretty much our van. Oh yeah. Also this basket's usually not here. It's Ricky's mom's basket, but it had our clothes in it and I was doing laundry. So I kind of just put it on the bed so you could see the rest of the van. But I also want to mention like something you'll notice about our van is it's not perfect. And it wasn't the goal to make it perfect. The goal was to be, um, as conscious as possible with our money. Uh, we did the whole van renovation, including the price of the van, in under $10,000, and we saved up quite a bit of money in order to travel. We we're also both freelancing, and Ricky's working with his dad, and we're working and making money so we can travel. This is a goal of mine that I've had for years, and Ricky too, and we're finally getting to do it, and it's so exciting. And I'm really excited that you guys are going to get to come along this journey with us. We've been in Ricky's family's driveway for about 
a month, honestly, probably about a month and a half. The whole time we've been, we, we came down here. It was like a four day trip to get down to Florida from Tennessee. And we've been here ever since. We've been working on things in the van, kind of just like making money, saving money. And then we plan on going to Miami soon. So within the next few weeks before Thanksgiving, we're going to go down to Miami. And then we're going to go back up to Tennessee during December for Christmas to see my family. And after that, we're going to go out west. So if you guys want to join that whole thing, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And then don't forget, next week I am going to be posting what is in my closet in my van and all my clothes that I wear. But yeah, so that is it for the van tour. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments. I will answer them. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Can you say bye? Say bye. Do you have breakfast? Okay, let's get some breakfast. She calls me day and night. I'm sorry, Billy Jean.